Right, so today we're diving headfirst into MCDP-1. Ooh, MCDP-1. And a yeah. classic. Yeah. It's a pretty vital piece of the puzzle, I think, for Absolutely. for anyone in the Marines, right? Yeah. Um, so we're really talking about the Marine Corps doctrine, so like their unique philosophy of yeah. war fighting. Yeah, it's kind of like the DNA of how Marines think about war. Yeah, it's not just the rules. Wrong. It's like how they think. Yeah, it's the thinking behind it. It's a whole way of life. It is a way of life. So MCDP-1 starts out... Starts out strong. Yeah, right out of the gate. Right. With a quote. Yeah. And I'm just going to read the quote. Go for it. The essential thing is action, governed by the will. The will is rooted in character, and for the man of action, character is of more critical importance than intellect. Yeah. Why this emphasis on character and action? Well, it's a very German way yeah. to start a military doctrine. Oh, is that where it's from? Yeah, that's from Hans von Siecht, who was a very prominent German general. Um, and, you know, the Germans had a very particular way of thinking about war. Right. And you can see it right there. So for the Marines to open with that is really interesting. Right, right. Um, and I think for them, it's about establishing that mindset, right. right? For the Marines' character and will are absolutely essential. So it's not just about book smarts. No, right. It's about having the guts to act. Yeah, you got to have the courage to make those tough calls right. and to take action, even when you're not sure what's going to happen. Even when you're facing uncertainty. Exactly. And that's what sets Marines apart. So they're emphasizing leadership. Leadership, initiative, the ability to think critically. Yeah, that's powerful. It is. So where do we go from there? All right, so next we've got force planning. Force planning. So this is like the blueprint okay. for building and maintaining all of the capabilities that the Marine Corps needs to be effective. So we're talking about training, equipment. Training, equipment, how units are organized. Right, right. What strategies they're going to employ. Wow, the big picture stuff. Big picture. And MCDP-1 emphasizes that everything in the Marine Corps flows from a common set of concepts. Oh, yeah. Every decision. Every piece of equipment. Every single thing needs to work together. Seamlessly. Yes, to achieve a common goal. I like that. So now this is where I think it gets really interesting for, for anyone in the Marines listening, right? Okay. Because we got this idea of expeditionary operations. Ooh, yes. In any environment. Yeah. What does that even mean? So basically what that means is the Marine Corps is training for a ton of different scenarios. So like jungle warfare. Jungle warfare, desert combat. Right. We're talking Arctic conditions. Urban environments. Urban environments, yeah. the whole nine yards. So you could be deployed anywhere. Anywhere in the world. Like that like is... That. At a moment's notice. Intense. It is intense. Wow. The focus is on being adaptable. Adaptable, ready to fight no matter what. So you're not locked in to any one type of terrain. Nope. Got to be ready for anything. Or one set of tactics. No, that's why the Marine Corps is organized for war fighting first. Okay. And then they adapt for peacetime. So they're always ready. Constant state of readiness. For rapid deployment. Rapid deployment, exactly. Wow, okay, so then how do they structure themselves? How do you get a force yeah. that can go anywhere and do anything? Yeah, how do you do that? So that is where you get the MAGTF. The MAGTF. The Marine Air Ground Task Force. Okay. And it's super flexible. Okay. It's like a building block approach. Gotcha. And you can tailor it for whatever the situation is. Oh, that's cool. So the MAGTF, it combines ground combat forces. It brings in aviation elements. You got logistics support uh -huh. and a command element. So it's all one cohesive unit. All in one. So like as you move through your career, yeah, you might find yourself serving in different types of units. Different units, different MAG UTFs. Depending on the mission. Depending on what's going on. That's the Marine Corps. Built for versatility. Versatility is the name of the game. MCDP-1 makes that clear right from the get-go. From the beginning. Okay, so we've got this foundation mm -hmm. of character-driven action. Yes. We've got a focus on expeditionary operations. Right. And we've got this adaptable structure of the mad gtf the mad gtf what else so now we get to the concept of doctrine itself okay doctrine Shemtrin. you know to me i hear doctrine and i think of like rigid set of rules oh yeah a lot of people do yeah regulations is that what we're talking about here so it's really important to understand that the marine corps doctrine that's laid out in mcdp1 okay it's not about following rules blindly. Yeah. It's more like guidelines. Guidelines. Flexible guidelines. And they require judgment. Judgment. Okay. Yeah. How you apply them. So it's not about memorizing a playbook. No. It's, it's about understanding like the principles. Result. Understanding and then adapting. Adapting. Exactly. Yeah, to the real world. That's what it's all about. Because war 
is chaotic. Yeah. It's unpredictable. Things never go according to plan. So you have to be able to think on your feet. Think on your feet. Make decisions. Right. In the heat of the moment. Yeah, that really highlights critical thinking. It's huge. You can't just blindly follow orders. You got to understand the why. The why. Yeah. Behind what you're doing. That's a good point. That leads us to professionalism, right? Professionalism, yes. So we're talking about more than a sharp uniform. More than just looking good. Or following orders. It's about being a student of war. A student. A student. You're always learning. Always learning. So it's going beyond field training. It goes way beyond that. Weapons proficiency. And CDP-1 really emphasizes studying military Ther history. Theory. theory. Constantly deepening your understanding. Deepening it, yeah, of warfare. So they want well-rounded individuals. Well-rounded. Who can think strategically. They can fight effectively. See the big picture. Big picture. That's it. And that leads us to our next topic. The Marine Leader. A very important talk. What does MCDP-1 say about the qualities of a Marine Leader? So MCDP-1 wants a leader who can embody both action and intellect. Both. Okay. I have both. So someone who can get things done. Set things done. But also under... Understands the complexity. Right. Of warfare. It's a tough balance. It is. How does that actually translate to a leadership role? Well, the Marine Corps wants bold leaders bold okay. initiative even if it means making mistakes oh wow yeah because learning from those mistakes makes you a better leader it's crucial absolutely crucial so it's not about being reckless no it's right. calculated calculated order. risks yeah finding that sweet spot you got it between risk and judgment and it's also about communication right. communication is key open communication trust between leaders trust at all levels mcdp1 encourages marines to contribute ideas yeah you want to be part of the solution but you also have to respect the chain of command always always right. that makes sense it's about finding that balance you want leaders who will take initiative take initiative but also understand teamwork teamwork and communication they go hand in hand absolutely so what else does it say about developing effective leaders well this is where training comes in Train. MCDP-1 is big on continuous training. So it's not just boot camp. No. And then you're done. It's not a one and done. It's constant. You're always honing your skills. Always pushing yourself. Always pushing, always adapting. Adapting to new challenges. That's the Marine Corps. And this training, it's not just about individual skills. No. It's about unit cohesion. You got to learn to operate as a team. A single unit. A single unit. That's critical. It's everything. Wow. MCDP-1 stresses the importance of realistic training. Realistic. Simulating chaos. The chaos. The stress of lap. actual combat. You got to be ready. Okay, before we wrap up this first part, yeah. is there anything else we should touch on? Just a couple more things. Personnel management, it's another key thing. So MCDP-1 emphasizes assigning Marines to roles. Yeah, you want to find roles that suit their abilities. Their temperament. Their temperament, exactly. You got to make sure the right people are the right positions. Right people, right positions. That's how you get maximum effectiveness. So you play to the strengths. Play to the strengths. Of each Marine. That's it. Okay, and finally. It's finally equipping. Equipping. Yes. MCDP-1 emphasizes having equipment that's easy to use. Easy to use. Reliable. Reliable. And that can be used. Employed. In a lot of different environments. Variety of environments. Got to be ready for anything. Right, because you're expeditionary. Expeditionary. So it's not about having the coolest gear. Not about the flash. It's got to be practical. Practical, or, durable. 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 Adaptable. Got to be able to adapt it. You got to give Marines the tools they need. Absolutely. To succeed. No matter where the mission takes them. No matter what. That's it. Okay, so we covered a lot. We did. We did. In this first part of our deep dive into MCDP-1. A lot of ground. It's clearly more than just a set of rules. Oh, yeah. It's a blueprint. A blueprint. For how the Marine Corps thinks, Dream. trains. And fights. That's the Marine Corps. But before we move on, yeah. I want to leave you with this thought. Okay. Think back to what we talked about. Right. The Marine leader. The Marine leader. How do those qualities How do they... resonate with you? Yeah. How can you embody these principles? As you continue your journey. Yeah, as you continue your journey as a Marine. Oh, Marine. Keep that in mind as we continue exploring MCDP-1. In part two. Yeah, in part two. Welcome back. So I hope you've had some time to think about those qualities of a Marine leader. Yeah. And how they apply to you. And as we dig deeper into MCDP-1. Okay. Keep those in mind. Yeah. Because they're woven into everything. Into the doctrine itself. Exactly. One thing that strikes me is that MCDP-1 isn't just theory, right? 
it feels like it's really rooted in history and the experience of the Marine Corps. Yeah, that's a great point. MCDP-1, it's a living document. Okay. And it's shaped by everything the Marine Corps has been through, all the lessons learned from past conflicts. So it's constantly being updated. Well, yeah, they revise it periodically. Right. But it's also based on those enduring principles that have guided the Marine Corps. Since the beginning. Since the very beginning. And it's important to understand not just what to do. But the why. But the why, yeah. Why they've been successful. Why these principles have worked. Time and time again. Time and time again. That's interesting. So it's really about connecting you to that legacy. Yeah, the legacy of the Marine Corps. Generations of Marines who came before you. And all of their successes. And one of the key themes that I keep seeing in MCDP-1 is this concept of maneuver warfare. Ah, maneuver warfare. For those of us who aren't steeped in military terminology. Right. Can you break that down? What is it? So maneuver warfare, it's about exploiting your enemy's weaknesses. Okay. You're trying to dictate the terms of the battle right. and achieve a decisive victory. So it's not about brute force. No, it's not about just throwing everything you've got at them. Okay. It's about using speed, agility, and cunning. To outsmart your opponent. Exactly. That's why MCDP-1 is so focused on initiative. Adaptability. Adaptability. Marines are trained to think on their feet. They have to assess the situation. Make decisions. Make decisions. Even without specific orders. It's all about that character. The will to act. That we were talking about earlier. It all comes together. So it's about understanding your enemy, too. Absolutely. You have to understand how they fight. Their weaknesses. What their intentions are. Right. Their goals. MCDP-1 wants Marines to study their opponents. So you know what they're going to do before they do it. As much as possible. Anticipate their moves. That's the idea. So it's very proactive. Proactive, aggressive. Aggressive. But does MCDP-1 also address defense? Of course, defense is crucial. Okay. But it's not about just sitting back and waiting. Right. You're still maneuvering. Maneuvering, okay. You're using defensive tactics to disrupt the enemy. So you can launch a counterattack. Exactly. You're using defense as a springboard. Interesting. And MCDP-1, it stresses flexibility. Okay. In both offense and defense. So no matter what you're doing. No matter what. You got to be able to adapt. Always adapting, always changing. Stay one step ahead. One step ahead of the enemy. It seems like MCDP-1 is really a holistic document. It is. It's not just fighting. It's leadership, it's strategy, decision-making. And then logistics. It's about seeing the battlefield as a complex system. You got it, MCDP-1. It wants to prepare Marines. For any... For the realities of modern warfare. One of the things that stands out to me is the idea of combined arms. Combined arms. What does that mean? So that's all about integrating the different branches. Of the military, of infantry, right. artillery. Deviation. Bringing them all together. To create a force that's greater than the sum of its parts. So it's teamwork on a massive scale. Massive scale, yeah. Making sure all the different elements are working together. Communication is key. Coordination. Mutual support. Everybody's working together. That makes me think of the MAG-ETF structure. Absolutely. Seems like that's designed for combined arms. The MAG ETF is perfect for combined arms operations. It's starting to come together. It is. This emphasis on maneuver, warfare, initiative, adaptability, combined arms. Then the MAG ETF brings it all together. And we can't forget about training. Training. Always training. Professional development. That's how you create an effective force. A lethal force. That's the Marine Corps. MCDP-1 is really ingrained in the culture. It's part of their identity. It's more than just a manual. Oh, yeah. It's a reflection of their values. Their traditions, their commitment to excellence. And before we wrap up this part, okay. I want to touch on the idea of the fog of war. The fog of war, yes. Why is that so important for a Marine to understand? So the fog of war, it's all about the uncertainty, I... the confusion, the chaos of combat. Because in combat, you never have perfect information. You never do. Things rarely go according to plan. Right. You got to be prepared for that. For the unexpected. See things to go sideways. For the plan to fall apart. You gotta be able to adapt. MCDP-1 really stresses that mental agility. Real agility. Making decisions if under best, pressure. Even when you don't have all the info. That speaks to the resilience. The adaptability. The adaptability. Yeah. Absolutely. MCDP-1 recognizes that the human element is crucial. It's about the individual Marine. Their courage. Determination. All of it. To overcome that fog of war. And achieve victory. That's what it takes. It's a powerful concept. It is. Embracing the chaos. And finding a way to thrive. It requires a deep understanding of yourself. Your reign. And the principles of MCDP-1. 
It all ties together. So we've covered a lot. We have. We've talked about maneuver warfare. Combined arms. The fog of war. Now, in the final part of our deep dive, okay. we're going to shift gears a little bit. Yeah, we're going to so. look at some specific tactics. Tactics. Techniques. Techniques outlined in MCDP-1. How can you, as a Marine, apply these principles to your own training? That's what we're going to talk about. So until then, yeah. think about what we've discussed. Reflect on it. How do these concepts resonate with well, you? Your experience as a Marine. Yeah. All right, so we're back. And we're in the final stretch of our MCDP-1 deep dive. It's been quite a journey. It has. Exploring all these ideas and the history. So now let's get down to, like, the brass tacks. The nitty gritty. Yeah, like, how do these principles right. actually translate? Yeah, like, rubber meets the road. Into action on the battlefield. Exactly. What are some of the tactics, the techniques, that MCDP-1 lays out? Okay, well, one of the key things they talk about is orienting on the enemy. Orienting on the enemy, that sounds, I mean... It makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. When you think about it. Yeah, but what's that mean, like, in practice? So it's really all about understanding your enemy. Okay. you got to know their strengths. Their weaknesses. Their weaknesses, what their intentions are. Right, what are they trying to do? What are they going to do next? So it's not just reacting to what they're doing right now. No. You're trying to think ahead. you got to anticipate their next move. Anticipate, so you're being proactive. Proactive, that's a big part of MCDP-1. Disrupt their plan. Before they can even get started. Dictate the terms. You're in control. Wow, that requires, I mean... A lot of awareness. Situational awareness. Situational awareness, yeah. Decision making. Even at the lower levels. But even if you're not a high-ranking officer... Doesn't matter. You gotta be able to make those calls. MCDP-1 wants Marines at all levels to be able to make decisions. Wow. Take action based on what's happening. It's like they're really fostering it's a, culture. a culture of uh, initiative. Initiative and responsibility. Throughout the ranks. From the bottom to the top. And that all goes back to what we're saying about the Marine leader. It all ties together. Right. MCDP-1, it needs leaders. At all levels. Marines who can think for themselves, assess the situation. Yeah make the tough calls. And they can make those calls under pressure. Absolutely. So how does MCVP-1 actually provide guidance? Like, how do you do all this stuff? So they lay out some specific techniques, okay. like the nine principles of war. The nine principles of war. These are like a framework for making good tactical decisions. Ah, and those have been around for a while, right? Oh, yeah. These have been tested and refined over centuries of warfare. Centuries. Wow. So these are like the time-tested. Give me an example. Okay, so one of the principles is mass. Mass. Which basically means concentrating your forces okay. at the most important place and time. Right place, right time. To achieve a breakthrough. As you're trying to, like, exploit an enemy weakness. You could do that. Or launch a coordinated attack on a key objective. So it's not just about having more troops. No, it's not about numbers. Or firepower. It's about using what you have strategically to get the biggest impact the biggest bang for your buck and you got to be flexible flexibility is key right mcdp1 it's all about adapting it's adapting those principles to whatever's happening you got to understand the situation the risks the, the risks the opportunity and then make a judgment call based on what you know okay so mcdt1 gives you a toolkit a whole toolbox for making those tactical decisions but it also reminds you that war yeah. It's a human endeavor. Right. Technology is important. Tactics are important. But it's the Marines. It's the people. The individual Marines. That win the battles. It's their courage, their discipline, their determination. And it's the leadership, right. The leadership is crucial. It guides them. Strong leadership. That's what makes the difference. So as a Marine, how do you use MCDP-1? Awesome. Like, what's the big takeaway here? First of all, you got to study it. Study it. MCDP-1 is packed with knowledge, with insights. Okay. But don't just read it. Don't just passively go through it. No, you got to think about it critically. How does this apply to you? How does it apply to your job? What you do every day. Talk to your fellow Marines. Who are leaders. About the tactics, the techniques. Have those conversations. Challenge those assumptions. Really dig deep. Make it a living document. A living document, yeah. Something that you refer back to. Constantly. Right. And as you gain experience. In training. In operations. Yeah. Think about how these principles actually work. In the real world. What worked, what didn't work. What can you learn from that? Apply those lessons. To the next challenge. Exactly. This has been an incredible deep dive. It has. Into MCDP-1, we went through the philosophy. The core concept. The tactics. How it all comes together. MCDP-1, 
is a testament to the Marine Corps. Their dedication to excellence and understanding it is essential for any Marine who wants to succeed to reach their full potential. And for all of you listening out there, yeah. remember, MCDP-1, it's more than just a manual. Oh, yeah. It's a guide. A roadmap. To how Marines think. How they fight. And how they win. How they win wars. It's a roadmap for your development. As a Marine. Embrace it. Study it. Apply its lessons. To your training. To your journey. The legacy of the Marine Corps. Is in your hands. Until next time, keep striving for excellence in all you do 